We all want to enjoy long summer days here in Idaho, but as temperatures heat up in the Treasure Valley, yeah, we've had guys that have overheated. It's important to remember that the hottest part of the day can last until the sun goes down. Really, it doesn't start cooling down until probably 9, 10, 30 at night. While 90 to 100 degree weather can be difficult for everybody's body to regulate, there are some groups that are even more vulnerable to heat related illnesses, such as infants and children, older adults, those in low income communities, people with underlying health conditions, and people who work outside. So any of my guys know if they're feeling thirsty or tired to go down and take a break, get in the shade. Adam Zickgraff owns a local roofing company out of Nampa and he makes sure his employees stay safe while working in the summer heat. That's important because many illnesses like heat stroke or exhaustion can sneak up on you, which is why Ada County paramedics are pushing for prevention measures. Eventually your body's going to need those electrolytes back and so it's always good to have some sort of balance between water and something like Gatorade. Across Idaho, there have been at least two confirmed heat-related deaths this season. One adult suffering from heat stroke and a two-year-old who got locked in a car. Signs of heat exhaustion include headache, dizziness, and sweating and can typically be treated at home. But heat stroke symptoms can be much more severe. So confusion, disorientation, uh, even unconsciousness. If you or someone else is experiencing those, then you should absolutely call 911. Reporting from Boise, Allie Tripke, Idaho News 6.